All right, well, thanks everybody for being here tonight. <laughs> As many of you here tonight know me, there are others here tonight that don't. I was born and raised in LA, which is Lower Alabama. I also call me Manhattan, Florida, also known as the Redneck Riviera. Um, I graduated from OCPM, and I now have the privilege of returning to my roots, uh, giving back to my community in Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to say thank you to those who put me here as FDMA president. Thank you for your support and your confidence. It's truly an honor to serve in this coming year. I'd like to give special thanks to my parents, who unfortunately were not able to be here tonight, for giving me every opportunity that I, that I surely took for granted. I'd also like to thank Christy, who, as you know, is my heart and my rock. She's my love when I feel bad. She's my energy when I feel late. She's my greatest cheerleader in this game of life. I'd also like to thank my two daughters, Sarah and Megan, who might wish every opportunity I had, and, so, and, and, and as well as those that I did. <laughs> Each of you has put it at your position in your families understand us to be a very hard-working group of professionals. Many of you know that we are not the medical professionals that were handed anything. We were not handed our education or our training. We are not handed our hospital staff privileges. We were not handed our successful practices. We worked for every bit of this. And although we have opportunities now that we didn't have years ago, it remains a constant struggle to maintain our position amongst our peers, and we will continue to effort to elevate our profession as we are champions of medicine and surgery to put thankful. We are grateful to our mentors. Those mentors fought not only the diseases of the foot and ankle, and, the medical, and, and pioneered the medical treatments and the reconstructive procedures that are commonplace today. These mentors also fought the invisible disease, which is the disease of the politics of medicine. These diseases are uh, fueled by the ignorance and the intolerance, intolerance of uh, the medical profession, and we're working hard to stamp that out. And although our members fought these battles, it's upon us to now continue to fight, armed with our education, our training, and our perseverance. Many of you in this room have parents that were part of the greatest generation that ever lived. Many of you in this room are the podiatrists, part of the podiatric physician, greatest that ever lived. You were the iron workers that hung the steel and drove the rivets while balancing precariously on the steel girders as you built the skyscrapers that we call podiatric medicine. There's nothing I can do to recognize the achievements and honor that you have brought as a simply say thank you. With that said, I would like to speak briefly on a word that we hear a lot today. That word is excellence. Excellence is defined as a talent or quality which is unusually good and surpasses ordinary standards. This is a word that rang out in the hall in the uh, House of Delegates in 2015 as Dr. Phil Ward accepted his position as APMA president. He most delicately explained, we must be excellent instead of seeming to be. Of all course. Excellence can often be a moving target pursued not only with our actions, but with integrity in the service we provide, making them reliable, reproducible, and safe for our patients. We should strive for excellence in our patient care and the obligations of our profession by continuously learning and improving our skills. We should strive for excellence in the relationships we have with our other medical professionals as well as our peers and develop this relationships with our colleagues and other medical specialties. Pursuing that moving target is not easy. I feel those that have become successful, successful in this pursuit have common qualities and use common tools. One of the most important tools which I uh, is that of communication. This is becoming more and more important in a hospital setting to improve patient care, but it's equally important as to strengthen our relationships with one another, allowing us to grow stronger together. Another way we pursue that moving target of excellence is with leadership. 
Not everyone desires to take a leadership role, but often we are forced to do this as we mentor young medical professionals. I encourage each of you to become a member, a mentor. <laughs> Uh, I encourage each of you to become a mentor as they are our future. The word millennial is now used frequently to describe our new upcoming young members. The millennials see the skyscrapers you built, but also have no knowledge of the political disease you fought through the years. You should be proud of the foundations you formed and the skill that you hung for them. And even though entitled is a buzzword we often use to describe our younger generation, I'd rather describe them as being fortunate. Fortunate not to have to fight the same battles you fought, but make no mistake, they will have battles of their own. The final attribute I'd like to discuss in the pursuit of excellence is graciousness. Defined as the quality of being courteous, kind, and pleasant while demonstrating elegance and tastefulness. Graciousness is not something you are born with, unless you're the heir to the throne of the Commonwealth of the United Kingdom, which I don't see anybody here like that. Graciousness is a conscious effort, which often does not come easy. Graciousness can elevate, or I should say with graciousness, we can elevate each other, especially amongst our friends and family. I feel it important to be gracious to our colleagues, especially in front of our patients, even in the face of adversity. This only elevates their perception of us. It's been said, chopping down my tree does not make your tree any taller. That could be, not be more true. <coughs> we have all encountered less gracious attitudes and comments, but the pursuit of excellence must include the quality of graciousness. Tonight, I sincerely appreciate each of you coming to celebrate my election as president of the most excellent institution, the Florida Podiatric Medical Association. I look forward to the pursuit of moving, uh, of pursuing that moving target through patient care, communication with my colleagues, leadership to my upcoming podiatric physicians, and graciousness to my friends, my family, and my colleagues. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the reception. <laughs>